Bird. Hello, my name is uh, Chef Eric Pastora. I'm here at Los Angeles Harbor Community College. I'll be showing you guys the traditional Moroccan braised lamb dish. Uh, we have our braised lamb shank. We're also going to serve with a little bit of couscous and a little bit of uh, roasted spiced uh, vegetables. So your lamb shank could be either about one pound to two pounds per. So because of our portion, this is our regular French lamb shank. So all we have to do is grab our bony knife, do about a one inch cut, go all the way around, kind of scoring the actual meat, come over here, feeling where the bone's at, and then trimming that away, okay? Then you want to either with the back side of your bony knife, start trimming that off. Doesn't want to come off with the back of your uh, bony knife, you can use the actual blade part. And then just trim as much as you can off of it. Once you have your nice soft French lamb shank, we're gonna marinate it now. We have our uh, traditional spices. We have black peppercorn seeds, fennel seeds, a little bit of coriander. So we're gonna pan toast them with no oil because we wanna release the oil from the actual seeds themselves. And you wanna stir it around so that they won't start to burn. So just slightly toast it, you can let it sit, heat up a little bit. If once they start popping, you know you're done. But you wanna get it a little bit before they start popping. Once they start becoming more fragrant, you can start smelling, then you know you're done. Of course, earlier, I grabbed my uh, spice grinder and grinded up all my spices, put it into here. I added my salt, white pepper, you can use black pepper as well, plus a little bit of oil. So we want to give the lamb shack a nice good rub, massage it, and then a little bit of the actual seasoning around that. Okay, and then just rub it all the way around. Okay, if you were here, trust me, you could smell it. It's nice and fragrant, very beautiful. At this time now, we would let it marinate for about two to three hours. So we already marinated our lamb shanks for about two to three hours. We're heating up our nice oil with our saute pan. You can either roast your bones, your lamb shank for about an hour, take it out, and then we start the braising process, which is a combination cooking technique. Make sure our oil is nice and hot with our saute pan. Come on over, grab our lamb shank, okay? Okay? And then you wanna be careful not to brown your bones, so you wanna put it off to the side. If you're doing only a couple, of course, you could use a saute pan. If not, the best thing is to actually roast it in the oven. Convection oven for 350 degrees for about an hour. So right now, we just want to sear the exterior of the actual lamb shank. Once we sear it, then we'll be adding it to our, our saucepan or stock pot, depending on what you're using. Now, I'll be starting the braising liquid. Heat up our saucepan. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna add our vegetables. We have our diced up uh, carrots, our celery, and our pearl onions that have been previously blanched. So we're gonna check our lamb shank real fast. A little brown, but it's okay. Rotate it. Now what happens if you add a little bit of uh, honey or any type of sugar, of course it's gonna caramelize right away. Then we're gonna add our blanched pearl onions. Then of course to add a little bit more depth of flavor, we're adding, adding our tomato paste. Now our tomato paste is just like the way you pince your mirepoix for your stock. Okay, this would add a little bit more flavor, but you wanna cook off the acidity, if not it'll be too sour. 
So, I want to start stirring it around. And then of course, let the acidity cook off until it turns into a, uh, like a rusty color. We're gonna take out our lamb shanks. Then we're gonna add our actual lamb shanks to the actual pot. We're gonna add our red wine. and our combination of beef stock and chicken stock. Now at this time you could add your sachet of uh, thyme, bay leaf, uh, just to add more flavor. So now we're gonna turn on the heat to high heat. We're gonna bring this to a boil, then lower it to a simmer. This will take about two to three hours slow and low, okay? So after about two to three hours of uh, slow simmering, we wanna check, make sure that our lamb shank is nice and tender, okay? Fork tender, because if it's not, I don't want it. So it has to be nice and tender. Take out your braised lamb shank, okay? Now what you wanna do with the actual braising liquid, you could reduce it a little bit more, and then of course add a root to it, or reduce it. I also like to add a little bit of apricots and more pearl onions towards the end. And then right here is my actual sauce, my finishing sauce. So this has of course some uh, hydrated apricots and some nice beautiful pearl onions. So now of course we did a lovely couscous, a traditional couscous made with chicken stock and some nice fresh herbs. We have mint, tarragon if you'd like, uh, more traditional would be cilantro, parsley, stuff like that. Then we have our nice, beautiful roasted vegetables. We have, of course, our purple cabbage. We have carrots. We have patty pans that have been spiced and roasted. All right. We took out our hot plate from the oven. Then we're going to add a nice, good bit of uh, couscous on the bottom. Then next, we're going to have our roasted vegetables. A nice, good mixture off to the left. All right, then our braised lamb shank. Then of course, last but not least, our sauce. Then we're gonna add our mustard flowers. We just need very little, just to give it a nice good uh, color. Nice and vibrant colors to garnish our entree plate. Uh, these are the type of entrees that we serve here at our bistro at Los Angeles Harbor Community College. Each week it's a different type of theme, whether if it's Mexican, Moroccan, North African, or Azerbaijan. You guys are more than welcome to come down and make a reservation. Uh, please do sign up early, because if not, we sell out. Thank you very much, and have a good day.